Hi, I'm Steven. Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue the Air Force review. In this video, I'm going to show you the most of the things uh, that this camera can do and the fantastic feature details does of F4. First, let's continue the topic of the previous video, the shutter. You see, when you open the camera back, you press the shutter button, but the shutter cutter looks doesn't move, but you can hear the shutter sound. Actually, a force shutter is a door cutting shutter for light shield. Front and the rear door shutter cutter that block unwanted light from passing through to the film. Uh, they minimize the light leakage when shooting with a mirror lookup or in very bright conditions. When the camera back is opening, the cotton, the shutter cotton doesn't move. That is for protect your shutter from your accident touching. Now look this big head. The multimeter finder DP20, which is a force standard finder. The viewfinder can be removed to change other viewfinder and when removed it, the camera can use as a waist level viewfinder camera that is same as the Nikon F3. And you also can change other focus screen here. There are several kind of the uh, focus screen for the Nikon F4, maybe uh, 10 kinds. But one of them I would highly recommend it. Uh, I will talk it later. Now look at the right side, uh, there is a meter system selector. Accept a spot and the scent weighted metering mode. Nikon was started a new metering technology, the matrix metering, which is still using and involved uh, into today's 3D matrix metering on Nikon digital SLR cameras. On this meter selector side is a diopter adjustment knob for people with glasses. F4 only private HP, high eye point viewfinder, but uh, F3 let you have choice between HP or regular finder. With regular finder, you can see a more big picture in finder if you don't need uh, glasses. Same as the F3, Nikon F4 viewfinder has uh, eyepiece curtains. The eyepiece curtain is for when you're using the self-timer operation in automatic exposure mode. Your face will uh, not close the viewfinder, right? So the eyepiece shutter can prevent light from entering the eyepiece and adversely affecting the automatic exposure metering reading. I think you, if without the eyepiece cotton, uh, that that's okay because I think uh, maybe you have a little bit affecting, but for the professional camera, they cannot let it happen even a little bit. And the very interesting things is the painted red to provide a visual reminder that it's in use. Uh, that's a, a very, very sweet details. Now look at the top plate right side. You are going to find almost all main control on here. A shutter release button and uh, around that the power switch and the film advanced mode select here. Pressing this unlock button, you can switch camera on from L the lock and the position to select the film advanced mode. S uh, is a single shot. CH means continuous high and continuous low speed. CS is continuous silent and self timer. I think this continuous silent mode is a little bit interesting. Now let, let we compare it to the shutter sound. You see the the shutter sound almost the same. It can't let the shutter sound be quiet, but uh, it can let the advanced film, advanced film sound uh, a little bit quieter. It looks a continuous mode, but you can use it as a single shot mode, like this. Right? because the advanced speed is very slowly, just uh, one frame per second. So that's slow enough that you can use it as a single shot, right? 
for the normal single shot mode, the advanced few advanced sound still uh, a little bit of tension, I think. Silent mode. Yes, a little bit, a little bit quieter, but not too much. Maybe someone think uh, that is unuseful and useless. But I would say, for the professional photographer at that age, use the film uh, cameras. Uh, sometimes they have to keep quiet, walk in some situation like uh, in an opera. Is useful at least in that film age. And uh, actually, I want to say the Nikon F4 is a very quiet camera. Uh, you can hear the shutter sound with uh, film advance. It is still quieter than today's SLR digital cameras. Uh, this is the F4S used MB21 battery pack. You can get the 5.7 frame per second uh, to shot. So this speed dial, no need to say, at the bottom will find a lever that is a viewfinder illumination switch. Just turn the switch to on and uh, lightly press the shut up release button. All information in viewfinder will be illuminated and keep light on until viewfinder display uh, disappears. It's much, much better than F3s. For the Nikon F3, uh, a very, very tiny little button, the illumination button, you have to press keep on. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so F4 is much better. On the F4's body, you, every, you easily uh, mistake a touch. Uh, since the button, they all have lock. Only this illumination switch and uh, which one? And this exposure mode uh, selector. As you can see, F4 can use almost all exposure mode. The A, S, P and the PH. Here I want to say someone doesn't know what is different between uh, P mode and the PH mode. Let me explain it. Program exposure mode means let the camera automatically pick aperture and the shutter speed for you. The pH high speed program mode means camera will pick more higher shutter speed and the corresponding aperture for you. Uh, such as when using a telephoto lens or for shooting a faster moving subject like uh, sports photography. The pH is recommended. The exposure compensation dial with lock and it's a most easy to using dial even gloves on. Only one touch of one finger to unlock and set between plus two stop to minus two stop. Compared to current cameras, actually I always have an issue with the fact that with the 30 years latest camera, the Sony A7 III, sometimes I had made a mistake with the, its uh, compensation dial because there is nothing can lock in it. Now even come to 2022, the Sony camera finally uh, the compensation dial with lock but still not fast and uh, easier as the Nikon F4. For multiple exposure shot, you just pull the lever release the shutter, your film will not advance. Now look at the top plate, the left side. Like many Nikon cameras, the camera back with lock. To open the camera back, you need to turn this knob, unlock and pull this rewind lever up, then the back open. Film loading become super easy and fast. Pull the film leader to reach this red mark, close the back, press shut once, then the film will automatically advance to number one frame. When you finish the whole row of film, red LED lights up on the left hand, F4's power rewind knob is here, the R1. Push this unlock button here and activate R1 lever and now 
push here unlock and activate R2 on left side starts power rewinding and pull the film entirely into the film cartridge. Also, you can manually rewind the film just after active the R1 lever. I always use the manual rewinding because I need the, the film lead outside the cartridge uh, for easy to developing things. It's very easily and a very nice hand field, not like a, like a M6. The ISO selector also with lock but different from Nikon F3. With F3 should pull here this ring so you can move it, but F4 you just need pressing this little knob, then you can uh, move the ISO selector. Now let's look at the front mount. Here a little knob uh, push it can turn the metering lever up that you can mount a pre-air lens on F4. As I was mentioned in previous videos, only F3 and F4 have this little knob. After I researched it, I was surprised, very surprised, because I found that the F4 can use Nikon lens from pre-AI to G-series lens. Yes, so that F4 is a most wide lens compatible uh, camera in all Nikon SLR cameras. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's take a look at these charts I made. F4 able to use from pre-AI older lenses to modern G-series or Nikon F-mount lenses. So with the G lens, because the F4 body without the aperture control, G lens also without the aperture ring, so you have to only use F4's P and the PH exposure mode. For the autofox function, F4 is a, a first autofox camera in F series, so here are focus mode, select the S, C and the M. The 1980s autofox technology, you can use it, but I don't want to use it. So I always put this switch to M, uh, use the manual focus lens. Now look the other side. There are depths of field preview button and a mirror lockup lever, and the AF lock button, AE lock button. To lock the mirror in the up position, uh, pushing the depth of field preview button and uh, rotate the mirror lockup lever down. This AF lock button provides a simultaneous lock option. When rotate the lever down, you can just press this one button to lock AF and AE simultaneously. On F4, I feel other nicely things is you still can use old mechanical release cable. Let mechanical cameras user save money. Now let's talk its comms and uh, some uh, buying advisor. I think for the F4, the only one comms is the, the weight. Yes, very heavy. It's much heavier than the F3. So every time when I went to travel, I really want to bring my F4 body, but uh, finally still bring my F3 body because it's weight. Actually, F4 have three versions. F4 Standard, F4S and F4E. If you want to buy, I would say take the F4 Standard body. For the F4 standard version, although it's 200 grams heavier than the Nikon F3 body, but still uh, 200 grams light than the F4S, and it's smaller. F4S body, you can use the vertical, vertical shutter here, and uh, more beautiful, right? Uh, just, uh, just these two things, I think, benefit for the uh, 5.7 frames per second 
uh, continuously shutter. I think no one wanted it now because the film become too expensive, right? So, as I said, if you want to buy, take the Air 4 uh, standard version. But the most important thing you must to check is the LCD condition. Uh, because, uh, as we know, the, the older Nikon Air 4, they have some issue about the LCD leaking. I think maybe 70% of the older Air 4 have this issue. So, the most important thing you, you, you have to check the LCD condition. If you get a perfect uh, F4 body, F4S body, don't worry, you have another option. You can buy another MB20 battery grip, replace it, uh, let it become to F4 standard body. That's no problem. I was said before, this is the first generation autofocus technology camera. By today's standard, this camera, the autofocus is pretty slow and loud. So use the manual focus lens, the AI, AIS lens on it is a good choice. Like many digital Nikon SLR camera, they always a green light in the viewfinder to indicate the, the uh, focus, manual focus, uh, let you manual focus become too easy but you have another uh, very good choice. You can change a type K focus screen to let manual focus as easier as you're using uh, F3. There are several type focus screen that can be replaced on F4. The best for manual focus is type K which is the same as the Nikon F3s but it's very difficult to find it. I still haven't found it uh, on second market for a long time. If you can find it, the type of K, take it, really. Okay, that's all about today's video. What you think about the Nikon F4 function or some questions, you can leave the message below. Okay, thanks for watching. See you.